about this. This is a covenant book. This is a book of promises. And I can stand on the promises that you make. You're not going to fail me, Lord. See, how many of you believe that God's not going to fail you? I mean, man will fail you, but God is not going to fail you. We used to sing the song years ago, a hymnal, Standing on the Promises of God. Anybody remember that song? Standing, standing, standing on the promises of God. See, look at your old school folk. Well, look at that. St standing on. So we, 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 and I remember seeing that song many years ago. I was taking my Bible, and I would stand on them. I'm standing on the promises of God. That's sacrilegious. No, the word ain't on the page. It's in my heart. And so when I can't stand on anything else, I stand on the word of God. What have you declared? What have you spoken? God, reveal your covenant to me. And this is, this is part of being covenant-minded. We're always thinking, Lord, show me. Help me to understand. Help me to see what you're trying to say. Because I want to operate and live from, not just live from day to day, but live in the fact that you are a covenant-making, covenant-keeping, covenant-revealing God. Write this one down. Psalms 25, 14 says that the secret of the Lord is with those who fear him, and he will show them his covenant. God is, God is trying to show you something. God is trying to tell you something. You remember that song? God is trying to tell you something. God is trying to show you something. Jeremiah 33 and 3, write that one down somewhere. He says, call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you know not of, things that are hidden, things that are secret, things that are yet to be revealed. He says, I'm trying to show you something. When you walk outside of these doors this week and you go through whatever you go through this week, instead of reacting the same way as you always react, say, Lord, show me something. <laughs> reveal something to me. Sometimes your tragedy is an opportunity for God to reveal something. Sometimes your turmoil is an opportunity for God to reveal and to show something to you that you have never seen before. Sometimes <laughs> another man's insolvency is your blessing. God said, I'm, 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 you, know, you know, we were talking about this last night in prayer, after prayer, but Bob Sorge said, hey, God is very dramatic, isn't he? I mean, you know, I just, I don't know if I like that too much about God. I mean, I just, you know, simple would be okay sometimes. What do you want me to do? Sometimes, Lord, I mean, simple would be fine. I just, you know, I believe and then I just receive. You know, what fun is that anyway, right? I guess in God's mind, what fun is that? He wants to create theater. He wants to create a sense of drama about how he's going to do it. No, God, we believe in you for $400,000. You just can't give it to us, right? I mean, just, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm fine. I don't care. I, I, don't, I even take a little drama. You know, I mean, you know, some dog with a bag in his mouth. I mean, just break, however you want to do it. I'll, I'll take that. But God has to create some uneasiness on the inside of us. For us to step back and go, I can't do nothing about this one. <laughs> God is the most creative, dramatic he is, he's just, he's just, you know, you ain't seen him drama until you've seen the things that he's done. I mean, come on, right, right? I mean, Abram, Sarah, you know, first time he speaks, they're 75. He still got a little juice left in him. She don't, you know, I mean, they can figure that out. They're 85, you know, things are getting kind of weak. He about to go out. The light's about to go out on him. I'm speaking in veiled references. But those of you who are of understanding know what I'm talking about. So the light's about to go out on him. And so he creates an Ishmael. And God says, okay, chapter 17 of Genesis, he's now 99 and she 98. Romans picks it up and tells us the reality of the story, that they had to believe God for those things that be not as though they were.